Picture this, you're about to step on stage for a public speech. Your hands are clammy, your heart races, and suddenly your mind goes blank. You feel paralyzed, it's fear. But what's really happening inside your brain and body when fear strikes? How does fear take control of your brain? Send your body into overdrive, and what happens when this response becomes chronic? We'll also break down the fascinating science behind this primal emotion with expert insights and tips on how to manage fear before it manages you. Fear is hardwired into the human brain, designed to protect us from threats and ensure survival. From escaping predators in ancient times to avoiding modern dangers like car crashes or natural disasters, the fear response has been crucial throughout human history. This response is part of our autonomic nervous system, meaning it's automatic, occurring without conscious thought. The moment danger is perceived, the brain triggers a rapid series of reactions to prepare the body for fight or flight. But fear isn't just physical, it's also an intricate emotional and cognitive experience. According to research from Houston Methodist Hospital, fear engages both the brain and body in milliseconds, preparing us for survival. As Smithsonian Magazine explains, fear starts in the brain and spreads throughout the body to make adjustments for the best defense or flight reaction. Remarkably, this all happens before we even realize we're afraid. Fear starts in the brain and several regions work together to keep you safe. Think of it like a relay race where each part of your brain hands off responsibility to the next, playing a unique role in how we process and react to fear. 1. Amygdala, the fear detector. Often referred to as the brain's fear center, when you sense danger, this almond-shaped cluster of neurons is the first to react. Think of the amygdala like your brain's smoke detector. It goes off at the first sign of trouble. Whether it's a real threat or just burnt toast, it processes emotional stimuli and kicks off the fear response before you even consciously register what you're afraid of. According to a study in Smithsonian Magazine, the amygdala is so fast that it can react to fear in as little as 12 seconds, much faster than the time it takes for the conscious mind to process what's happening. This explains why you might jump at a loud noise before realizing it's harmless. The amygdala assesses the emotional significance of events and plays a key role in triggering a fear response. 2. Hippocampus The brain's memory center. It plays a crucial role in placing your fear into context. It compares the current threat with past experiences to help determine whether your fear is warranted. If you've experienced something similar before, like walking down a dark alley, you may feel fear based on past memories. This is also why certain smells, sounds, or places can trigger fear responses, even if the immediate danger is absent. The hippocampus helps store and retrieve conscious memories and is involved in the recognition of contextual cues. 3. Hypothalamus, the command center. After the amygdala and hippocampus sound the alarm, the hypothalamus steps in, which acts as a relay station activating the autonomic nervous system. Neuroscientist Dr. Joseph Ledoux describes it as the brain's command center, coordinating the stress response that follows fear. So this triggers the physical fight or flight response. It's the hypothalamus that tells your adrenal glands to release adrenaline, speeding up your heart rate and breathing, and sending blood to your muscles so you can react. 4. Prefrontal cortex, the rational thinker. Finally, the prefrontal cortex helps you assess and regulate your fear. It interprets the threat and can help you rationalize whether the danger is real or exaggerated. This is why after the initial shock of fear, your prefrontal cortex kicks in, allowing you to calm down and decide if action is really needed. In some cases, it might tell you, it's just a movie, or that was just thunder, not an intruder. Now that we understand the key brain players in the fear response, let's look at how fear transforms your body, literally from head to toe. When fear hits, your body releases a flood of hormones that prepare you for action. These chemicals are the reason behind many of the physical sensations we associate with fear. 1. Adrenaline, the instant energy booster. Adrenaline, also known as epinephrine, is the primary hormone involved in the fear response. Once triggered by the hypothalamus, your adrenal glands release adrenaline into your bloodstream. This hormone is responsible for the most obvious symptoms of fear racing heartbeat, rapid breathing, and that sudden surge of energy. 2. Norepinephrine, the focus enhancer. 
Working alongside adrenaline, norepinephrine enhances your body's focus and reaction time. It increases alertness and sharpens your senses, giving you the tunnel vision that can make you hyper-focused on the source of fear. This is the body's way of ensuring that every ounce of your energy is dedicated to survival. 3. Cortisol, the long-term stress hormone. Lastly, there's cortisol, known as the stress hormone, released in longer term or chronic fear situations. This hormone helps regulate energy, making sure your body has enough fuel to keep going if you're stuck in fight or flight mode for a while. However, cortisol comes at a cost. Too much of it over too long a period can wear down your immune system, raise blood pressure, and even damage brain cells. As noted by National Geographic, over time, cortisol wears down the body. Sustained high levels of cortisol can lead to health issues like cardiovascular problems. Now that we understand how fear is processed in the brain, let's explore the physical changes that occur in our bodies. Well, fear isn't just a mental game. When it takes over, your body undergoes a series of rapid, automatic changes designed to enhance survival. These responses, while incredibly effective in short-term danger, can have lasting effects if they occur too frequently. Breaking it further down, fear causes your heart rate to skyrocket sometimes doubling within seconds to nearly 180 beats per minute, pumping blood to your muscles for quick action. Blood pressure rises as vessels constrict, sending blood to your arms and legs to prepare for fight or flight. Your breathing becomes rapid and your bronchi expands to boost oxygen flow. However, if this persists, it may lead to dizziness. Meanwhile, your muscles tense, which can cause trembling or shaking as your body braces itself for immediate response. Have you ever felt your heart race out of control from a fear that turned out to be harmless? Drop your experiences in the comments. One of the most interesting effects of fear is how it heightens your senses. Your brain enhances sensory input, helping you detect threats more effectively. Your pupils dilate to improve vision, especially in low light, making it easier to spot danger. At the same time, your hearing becomes more acute allowing you to pick up on sounds you might usually miss, ensuring you stay fully alert to any potential threats. Fear also triggers increased sweating to cool your body in anticipation of physical exertion, often resulting in clammy hands or excessive sweat. Blood is redirected to major muscle groups, leaving your hands and feet cold as your body prioritizes vital organs like the heart and lungs. Digestion slows down as blood flow moves away from the stomach which is why you might feel nauseous or lose your appetite when fear strikes. While short-term fear is necessary for survival, chronic fear can be destructive. Living in a constant state of fear or anxiety takes a significant toll on both your physical and mental health. 1. Weakened Immune System Chronic stress from prolonged fear suppresses the immune system, making you more susceptible to illness. As Dr. Elizabeth Blackburn, a Nobel laureate in biology, explains, chronic stress shortens telomeres, which are the protective caps on the ends of chromosomes. This can accelerate aging and increase the risk of disease. 2. Cardiovascular damage Long-term fear can also damage your cardiovascular system. Elevated blood pressure, sustained over time, can lead to heart disease, strokes, and other cardiovascular issues. 3. Gastrointestinal problems Chronic fear and anxiety disrupt digestion, potentially leading to issues like irritable bowel syndrome, IBS, acid reflux, and ulcers. 4. Memory impairment Excessive fear can impair memory formation and cognitive function. The stress hormone cortisol has been shown to interfere with memory making it difficult to concentrate or recall information during periods of fear or anxiety. 5. Accelerated Aging Finally, prolonged exposure to fear and stress can accelerate the aging process. High levels of cortisol over time can degrade the health of your cells, leading to premature aging. And my dear fellas, it's essential to distinguish between fear and anxiety at this point. While both involve the activation of similar brain regions, they are distinct emotional states. Fear is a response to an immediate threat, like hearing a noise in the dark, while anxiety is more about worrying over future or imagined threats. Dr. Luana Marquez, an associate professor of psychiatry at Harvard Medical School, explains, anxiety is fear of the future, 
it's not a response to an immediate danger, but to an anticipated one. You see, fear has been essential for human survival. Early humans relied on fear to avoid predators and navigate dangerous environments. In today's world, the threats are different. Things like financial insecurity, relationship problems, or career stress. But fear still plays a crucial role in our decision-making and survival instincts. It, in fact, triggers a quick, efficient response that can help us avoid danger. However, in a world filled with less immediate threats, fear can become a hindrance. Learning how to manage fear is key to maintaining a healthy mind and body in the modern world. So, how do you deal with fear, especially when it starts to interfere with your everyday life? Here are some expert back tips. 1. Mindfulness and relaxation techniques Well, mindfulness practices like meditation or deep breathing can help bring you back to the present and calm your body down. As noted by the American Psychological Association, the APA, deep breathing slows your heart rate and helps calm your nervous system. 2. Cognitive Behavioral Therapy CBT. CBT is another effective therapy for reducing fear. It helps retrain your brain to approach fear with rational thinking. According to APA, CBT teaches individuals to challenge and change distorted beliefs related to their fears. 3. Physical Exercise Exercise is also a powerful tool to reduce fear and anxiety. It releases endorphins, which are natural stress relievers. Health notes, regular exercise can improve your mood, increase relaxation, and reduce symptoms of anxiety. 4. Facing your fears. Finally, the most effective way to conquer fear is by gradually exposing yourself to the source of your fear in a controlled and safe environment. This is known as exposure therapy and it helps desensitize the brain to fear triggers over time. By slowly confronting your fears, you can reduce the intensity of the fear response and regain control. If you found this video helpful, hit that like button, share your thoughts on how fear has impacted you, and don't forget to subscribe for more mind-blowing science.